everybody. Welcome to another round of Kanji Plays. And today we are going to get into Alter Quest. Quest number four of Out of Luxon. Straight out of Luxon. Uh, so we're going to get into quest number four of the six part campaign that we've been going through. I did well to start, and then it just kind of like, ooh, <laughs> crash and burn. But I'm hopeful I will make a great comeback. So we'll see where it takes us. Um, we're going to be continuing our story, and then we're going to go. Um, I want to start off by saying thank you to my Patreons. I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Um, thank you for backing me. Thank you to my YouTube subscribers. You got me 200, and we did the uh, top 10 of 2020 with the Q&A that was on it last night. So that's there for anyone who would like to peruse who, are in it, who wasn't able to make it. But um, that was, you know, my thanks saying, Hey, I'm here. Ask me whatever you want. Let's talk. Let's have a chat. That was fun. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Okay. So we're going to get into Alter Quest. We're going to get back into um, Straight Out of Luxon. <laughs> and we'll have some fun with it. So let's get some information and then get down to the table. How about that? All right. Alter Quest, created by Adam and Bradley Sadler of Blacklist Games, which is their company they created and published through them. Um, the artwork is beautiful. The gameplay I love so much because it is definitely Hero Quest Advanced. So I like the gameplay. I like the mitigation dice. I like a lot about it. Um, but it got an 8.3 on Board Game Geek so far. It came. It was delivered this year, and it's already stacking up pretty high on the list. Say best played one to two player. That's true. I, I probably when I play um, Ruins of Ark Inspire which is the next playthrough. When I, when I do that one for the next campaign, I'm going to play two-handed with two characters. So you can see the difference of going through with one as opposed to going through with two to see how it all plays out. But we're sticking with this campaign with just one, Myrene Duval, and we will see where she, how, where she lands. Because it would be really cool if she had no equipment, but eh, what you going to do? Okay, let's go ahead and get down to the table, set up what's coming up next, and go through and have some fun. Okay, dokie. So we've got everything. I, I put out stuff because it was like, okay, well, what's coming so I can kind of prep in terms of the, the quest that's coming. So I have that. I haven't set it up. I just took the cards out to get ready for them. Got my handy dandy reminder sheet right here of stuff to keep me straight. And we've got chapter four. So let me throw on my old man glasses. Get my uh, voiceover work ready. You know, <coughs> yeah, voiceover work. And let's get into it. Chapter four. So we escape from being thrown into a pit where um, a vampire, Moira, I believe is her name, chased us out because she wants her son to be king. Uh, so here we go. Wasting no time when you get back to Hawthorne, you head straight to the mayor's house. Having come and gone from here as often as you have, the only pause the, only pause the, gu the gate guard gives is due to the cake on filth covering you from days of trudging in those disgusting lairs. Once he sees past the grime, his eyes go wide. Oh, my apologies. Come in, come in. I will send for the master immediately. He pauses subtly, putting a glove finger under his nose. Let's show you to the baths while you wait. After what feels like forever, and after burning through two bars of lye getting cleaned up, you are shown back to the mayor's study and the amenities within. Draped in an exquisite long coat of kid leather, the mayor waits for you. Lounging in his high back chair, goblet in hand, he turns to you, the question already on his ruby lips. Where have you been? I thought we lost you. If vampiric infection is in the journal, read 38. It is in my journal, so I'm reading 38. Please tell me you can cure me. Uh... Runes, bones. Bolton shoots up to his feet supernaturally fast, his goblet sloshing red wine all over the table as he puts it down. He rushes across the room and leans in, his face inches away from yours. He carefully turns your head from one side to the other, using his thumbs to pull down on your cheeks to see the reds of your eyes. What happened to you? I sent you to deal with raglanders on a farmstead, and you come back shy a week later with the blood in you. What in all the hells above and below happened? 
After detailing the last several days' events in as much detail as you can muster, Bolton's unblinking eyes remained fixed on you. The minutes passed by as you explained the servants of the house refilling your cups and bringing food whenever you need. He nods lightly as the facts unfold. Finally, he sighs. Why, Nora Holmes. As he shakes his head slowly, how far has she fallen? I feel like I just saw her. Could it be the altars are poisoning her thoughts as well? He becomes lost in his thoughts for a moment, snapping back to attention with a sudden wrinkle in his brow. Huey knows more about these altars and what it is doing to the denizens of our world. Bolton gestures to his servant. Send for the old man. He returns his gaze and attention to you. If you're infected in the journal, read number nine. You really must stay here until we locate Huey and talk with him tomorrow. The mayor places his hand upon your shoulders. Your first slumber while the blood is in you can be difficult. I know it can be too much for many folks so you should know how it works. He swirls his goblet of crimson, stirring down into, staring down into the liquid with decades of past memories glazing his eyes. You can live with it, feed it carefully, and not take life to quench its thirst. It will stave off the worst of it. Avoid direct light in your eyes. Try to keep your temper and mind yourself in other. He bites his lower lip and chuckles. Passionate moment. It can be an effective asset, even if you never fully give in. He clears his throat and begins to pace the room. You will never reach the full potential of someone born to it like itself, but it will be a way a but it will be a whole new world to be sure. He pauses, lowers his gaze, and turns back. But if you want to be rid of it before it becomes permanent. You will need to drink a mouthful of Wynora Morn's blood and chase it with a spoonful of hemlock sap. It is awful, but it works. Cool, sir. So much around... Oh, sorry. Uh, so much around us has changed greatly in the last few days. He refills his cup for a from a dark bottle in a side cabinet. I cannot weave it away and merely... In merely coincidence. It hasn't just been the frocks going after the ragland as I have a nest of oxoid have blistered up from down below all over the countryside. I've heard of increased bray attacks in the west. We've all heard the moon children in the hills. Now there are thralls packed up under Wynor's twisted banner. It has to be. He starts towards the door. We can talk more tomorrow after we find you. He knows more than he has been letting on for sure. There are guest rooms upstairs for you. Please, stay and get some rest. It takes you a while to calm your mind, but the strong drink and noble trappings help you find slumber nonetheless. For a few short hours, you are surrounded by strange dreams unwanted memories, and for some unsettling image. Perform the first two steps of normal game setup. Uh, if Vampire Confection is not your journal, add while well rested to the journal. If it is, I need to read. Okay, so we've selected our characters. We've selected the quest that we're going to do, and that's the first two pieces of setup. And I need to draw my four cards, which I'll do in a bit. So I need to read 40. Man, bad things, bad, bad. Okay. You sl your sleep is full of nightmares, crimson eyes floating on a sea of darkness, rivers of blood that run from all corners of your vision, and the groaning sound of tree branches bending in the night winds crowd your mind and cause you to wake up several times throughout your rest. Each time your gums ache a little more and your stomach growls a little deeper, but you manage to fight yourself back to sleep. So I take one damage. Already. Cool. That's one of the two that I got for that card. <laughs> okay. 
Um, you awaken suddenly by the mayor himself bursting into your rooms. A simple meal and a sip. A simple meal and a spiced table wine ready for you to start the new, the new day. Get up, get dressed, and meet me downstairs. He pauses before sweeping out the door again. Huey has been captured. Meeting in the study, Morse greets you with a rough drawn map that looks like it goes to a swampy ruin near half a day's walk from Hawthorne's wall. <laughs> we were right. I knew it. The appearance of all these altars and the madness they are bringing with their awakening is a threat to us all. And Huey knows more about those damned things than anyone else this side of the Silverings' banks. He spins on his heels and thrusts a strip of torn yellow linen sleeves into the air. Huey's, ro Huey's robes. This was found in the, howl in the hollow just outside of town. Strange tracks all around it and my men tell me they lead to the lair of this map. The timbre of his voice transformed into a veritable growl. Go and find Huey, the mayor orders flatly. If monsters like Morn want him, he must know something truly important. We need him back. We need what he knows about the altars, the monsters, and my Norse thrice damned child. He nods to his manservant, who brings in a pile of heavy leather satchels, while you can't help but ponder how much more Morse might know than he's telling you. You're already packed. Bolton looks worried, but still maintains the air of confidence. No time to waste, my friend. The heroes search the search deck for the discarded pack card and resolve it. Hey, discarded pack card. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There it is. Okay, so this lovely bad boy is the discarded, discarded pack. It says gain two supply and discard this card. Okay, so I gain two supply. One, those. Boom, discard the card. Now oh, I'm going to shuffle this and then this will go at the bottom. The discard. And then we continue. You follow the tracks and a Suspiciously convenient number of torn strips of yellow linen from Hewen's robes are tucked conspicuously into bushes and hedgerows along the way. To a looming black rend in the side of a loomy mound, the stones and sides are rough and uneven, creating a natural staircase leading down into what you hope will be where you will liberate the old coot and bring him back to Bolton. Easy, right? Right? Okay. So, we're doing quest setup. So I'm going to put the stairs here. This is where we're going to start. Hey, Brian, how's it going? I'm going to put the stairs here. And then it says um, the quest will be the rescue. So let's talk about quest setup. Uh, let me hold this up for people who are going to read it later. A lot of reading. So that's quest setup. Okay. All right. It says... Altar-bound shackles are one of the most devious creations forged from the altars. These allow the most nefarious individuals to control their innocent captives, bending them to their heinous will. Setup. Remove each objective card from the quest deck and randomly place one objective in your hero's area. Objective, 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 and objective. Okay. It's, oh, it said randomly placed. Well, is it really random? Yeah. Okay, randomly play. We shuffle these up. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we'll grab this one. Ah, that's random. <laughs> uh, remove the rest from the game. So I will do that. And this says. Secure escape route. Once during your act phase, while you are at least while you are at least two rooms away from the stairs tile, you may task X, X, where X equals the number of enemies in your room. If there is no minion card in your threat area, draw a lurker card. Okay, so we're gonna be dealing with lurkers. Gotcha. 
So I need to task. It says there's a six challenge on that. So cool, cool. <clears throat> Remove the prisoner from the quest deck and place it in the villain play area. Do, 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 do. Prisoner. This says special rules. Replace the prisoner card with Huey. Uh, number five, Huey. Okay. So the tubs here, we're going to go with Huey. Uh, replace the prisoner ally card with Huey. Any effect that references the prisoner in this quest applies to Huey. So it goes in their threat area. It'll be. Okay. So Huey's. We'll remove you from the game to. Okay. And place it in the villain play area. Remove each shackle card from the quest deck. Shuffle them together and set them near the quest deck to create the shackle deck. Attach the top card of the shackle deck to Huey. Shuffle together the cell and three other random quest cards. Place them at the bottom and flip the card over. Okay, so shackle, 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 shackle. Those are shackles. So remove, sh remove each shackle card from the quest deck. Shuffle them together. And set them near the quest area to create the shackle deck. Attach the top part of the shackle deck to the present. Right. Shuffle these up. Top card of the shackle deck. Shared resistance. Interact one. So I test. Um, I think that's it's wisdom. No, it's not wisdom. That is. I'll be blurry for a second. Larry, one second. Sorry, Larry. That is willpower. So test willpower. If you pass, discard this card and gain control of the prisoner. Okay, so that's how we control him. Cool, so that's going to go on Huey. Tiny table life. Okay. And set them near the quest area, which I did. Attach the top card to the prisoner. Shuffle together the cell and three other random quest cards. Okay, the cell, which is this one, and three other random quest cards. Place them at the bottom of the quest deck and then flip this card over. Okay, so we gotta go through this entire quest of foolishness to get what we want. Gotcha. One, two, three. And we shuffle these up. It can be anybody. It can be a boat. Okay. And then place them at the bottom of this quest deck. Then here the quest deck is made. Place them at the bottom of the quest deck, then flip this card over. Flipped. Okay. If a hero controls the prisoner, and this token is adjacent to the altar and at least one hero with no enemies in the room. Wait, what? If a hero controls the prisoner, so I gotta get Huey, and its token is next to the altar, so I need to take him to the altar, and at least one hero with no enemies in the room, the heroes win. So I gotta clear out all in. So I gotta get the prisoner, get to the altar, kill all the villains in the room, and I win. Easy, right? If the prisoner is defeated, place its card in the villain play area and then attach the top card of the shackle deck to the prisoner. Its token stays on the board. While there are objective cards in play, heroes cannot perform the interact effects on shackle cards. So I have to clear this foolish. If a hero controls the prisoner, each hero with no minion in their threat area draws a threat card. Cool, so that's a bad thing that's going to happen to me. All right. Where our enemy that we're going to be dealing with is Bollocks the Belch Lord. Uh, the wetlands that poison the southern borders of Arcadia are home to the unsavory tribe of frogs. While most of these tribes are constant nuisances to local civilized folk, the bloated warlord Bollocks, Bollocks leads the worst of the worst. His sheer size garners respect and fear amongst the frogs and his greed is exactly what the common frogs seek in leadership. However, Bollock's reputation has grown mostly due to his 
unnatural ability to control the worst of his bodily fluids. Ugh. Any living being near Bollux will feel his repulsive presence like a plague. When we activate this card, each hero must either discard one focus or discard one supply. And if there is water, each hero must either discard one supply or suffer a damage. Cool, cool, cool. And we will shuffle this up. This is a deck of horrible, horrible things. Ooh, a little bit more. Not so blurry. All right. Here, here, here. Yes, yes. Here. A little bit. There we are. There we have it. We're using the frocks. Hailing from the swamp Isle of Grist, the various frox clans have a long history of infighting. These frog like creatures are bred into violence and seek only to wreak to wreck and ruin. So threat tokens. Threat tokens represent the poisonous sludge-like substance the frogs use to subdue their foes. Each time the character suffers damage from a threat card's inflict test, only inflict, the character gains a threat token. Each time a character with a threat token would heal damage, they instead discard a threat token and not heal. Cool. And these are the frogs. So let's shuffle this up. Here, here, here. Water's bad, okay? <laughs> hey, Chris, how's it going? Water is bad. So let's. I've gotten, I put these two cards here because that's from losing the last, um, quest two and quest three. Each enemy gains one speed. Each enemy with no damage gains plus one defense. Each minion gains plus one health. Each rival gains plus two and each villain gains plus, plus one health. That's what happens when you lose. That's what happens right there. Okay. So we do that, pull this off here, we're going to be on the stairs, we need to draw an altar card, I forgot that in quest 2, and I will not forget it again, we'll shuffle these up, our altar will be the burning altar, burning, feels like burning. So it says, each hero may suffer one damage to change one altar die to the result they want. Each hero in an altar room may deal one damage to an enemy in their room. Huh, cool. If fires up, each figure must either discard one armor token or suffer one damage. This is probably the worst one for Myrene. Uncool, man. Uncool. All right, so that's the altar card. That's going to happen. I'll get rid of the rest. Over here. Okay, so then we have to find the altar found card, which I put at the top, shuffle these up, and draw seven. That's right, there are only always eight rooms for people who are just watching this one. There is only eight rooms to go through. And that one's going to be somewhere in there. So we get altar found, and then we do one. Uh, let me do this. I've added in the. Um, the Kickstarter. Uh, I added in the Kickstarter um, feature cards, so there's some extra rooms in here. Otherwise, it would just be seven. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we shut, reshuffle, throw this in here, shuffle it up. Be anywhere. Could be anywhere. Alright. Let's hope we find it quickly. The Lurker deck, a deck of cards I do not like. 
Ach, wie ist er? Is up and for almost done shuffling, I'll keep that because I'll put that at the bottom. Shuffle the search cards up so we can search some of the things that we find in rooms. I really would like some new equipment. I'm not gonna lie to you. Here we will put this like that. Okay, and then we put this at the bottom. Okay, final deck to shuffle. <laughs> All right. We are ready to lock. So how do I? I'm I'm sure I have to do some quest thing to get to Huey so that I can get control of it. But this is where I am. Boom! I draw four cards. One, two, three, four. Start. I have. Ba, 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 ba. Exploit surroundings, which will give me a search. I've got you shadows, which is awesome for giving me armor. The Duval War Cry, which can take armor away from people, which I'm gonna need that. And then the Furious Arc, which attacks more than one person. We start off by rolling the altar dice. Two shadow, two fire, and a wind. I'll be making use of a couple of those. All right, here we go. So. We are going to start off by, let's see, I could do some movement. I can set up with using shadows. Let's see what we want to do first. First, I'm going to burn wind to get one armor because of my um, special. So I'll exhaust wind and exhaust on there. Reroll it. Shadow. Um, I will, and that's free. That doesn't cost me an action. I will then, my first action is to play using shadows, which is an ongoing effect, so it stays down. Um, that's my first action, so I'll flip that over. I'll then exhaust this ability on it for free, for free, to give myself another armor token. Light has come up. Cool. 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 My second action is I'm going to start a walk in. And I get three movement. One, two. I'll open the door, which is a free action. I still have one movement left. When I land here, I draw a feature card. It is the crates. This guy, which is a Kickstarter thing. So this is the crates. People who love paint. I am gonna paint these eventually. So it's a four, but it says where do you put it? Big um big arrow here for one, light arrow here for two, and then for four. So I put it here. So it's landing there. Uh when I activate it, a hero adjacent to this feature may gain one supply. Ooh. If I interact with it, I can search for stuff. So this comes out. This little, oh, sorry, just back up. It's gonna activate in this turn. So it goes there. After I do that, I then activate, I then draw, I have a whole reveal room section on my reminder sheet. Um, I draw a quest card. And I'll hold this up. Time to kick the button, take names. I'm all out of ink on my pen. Is that how you say? Here we go. All right, 
So, I don't know what it says because I need my glasses. <laughs> but you all saw it first. You've discovered a prisoner's cell, but not the one you're looking for. There are discarded possessions scattered around the room, as if whomever was kept here didn't stay long and left their supplies in their haste. You could sc scrounge around the refuse, but it would cost precious time. When revealed, attach this card to this room's feature card. During their act phase, a hero may discard this card to give each hero in the room the option to test dex 2. Each hero who passes gains one supply. Each hero who fails must discard one random card from their hand. Huh. This isn't like an annoying card that summons horrible monsters, but it attaches to the room. A little. It goes there. And then after we do that, we draw, we draw a threat. A threat. A threat. Which is a Frox Raider. So, um, active one. Uh, when it activates, it'll inflict five. Um, if there's water, it'll inflict again. There's no water, thank you, Maker. One shield, six health, five movement, one range. Prox Raider. He goes into my threat area. And he has a nasty looking. He will be this guy. He is a green. Let me put green on him. And the reason, for people who don't know, the reason why they give you these colors is because when you have a lot of people in your threat area, like I tend to do, it kind of helps. You'll be here. Now, remember what happens here. So each enemy gains plus one speed. He is a minion, not an enemy. Oh, no, an enemy is an anything, either a minion, a rival, or a villain. So he gains one speed, so his speed is six. He doesn't have any damage on him. So his shielding is two, and he actually has seven health because he's a minion, so he has plus one health. Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. I want to get close to this altar. He can't attack me this round. I do want to get close to that altar. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll knock off that shield off of him, no problem. Bring the shadow when I do it. Range five. One, two, three, four, five. He's not there yet. I gotta wait on this one. Um but I need to wait for Earth to come up. Let's see. You may discard one focus. I don't have any. And basically at the mercy of what's going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And he would be in my face and attack me if I do that. I don't want him to be. So I'm not going to press forward. I'm going to stay there. Um, I have a third action, though. Or I could just move, well, if I move here for three, then I could do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, you get to me. Hmm. If I do here, I could do one, two, three, open up this room. It still get to me from here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, you can. He just can't get to me now. So I'm trying to determine if I want to go through this door for my third movement or just stay where I am because he won't be able to get to me. I need to open up quests so I can find out how to get Huey and I need to unlock rooms in the feature card so I can find the altar to win my condition. I just don't feel like getting punched right now. <laughs> um, I'm supply gaining, which is good, and supply helps you re-roll dice if you need to. I've got two shielding on me. Three, really, because I come with one shielding. So I have three shielding on me. So he can do two damage and knock off all my shielding. Let's not dawdle. If I do three, then I can do one, two, three. 
he'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. So he won't get to me, actually. Because you can't attack from an angle. You have to attack from the doorway. Um, so he won't get to me. If I do three here and then I do one, two, three, he will get to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, or six. And then whatever's in this room will be coming from this corner, so it will get an attack on me. I could Furious Slash. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So, one. And then my third action is going to be... Actually, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. My third action out of the things I can do is I can channel to change... Uh, oh, no, I can't. No, I can't. I need to use a focus to change an Alter Die. So, can you move more? Can you get more shield from Alter Dice? I can't. I need Earth. Earth and Earth. <laughs> if I want shielding, I need Earth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna YOLO this and move my third movement here. Then one, two, open this door. Not afraid of no frocks. Then we pull a feature card. It's the alchemy deck. Alchemy desk, sorry. Which is this. It will go here against the wall. Kind of makes sense. Then I will pull uh, a quest card. Uh, it's kind of okay. Or what? Okay. It says Dying Lanterns cast grasping shadows across the gruesome display. Much blood has been shed in these confines, and screams of anguish, no doubt. Instruments of torture litter the room, along with various remnants of once-lived things. Thoughts of torture being visited upon one you seek are hard to put to rest, but they will not serve anyone now. What's done is done, and daylight awaits. When revealed, if the prisoner token is not on the board, deal one damage to the prisoner. He's got seven health, so he's taken a damage. He's down to six. If a hero controls the prisoner, that hero must test intellect three. No, that's not intellect. That is charisma. Test charisma three. If they fail, the prisoner moves three spaces in a direction that is both away from this room and the altar's room if it's revealed. Well, I don't, so nanny nanny boo boo. So that is done. Then we draw a threat. A trap. So this is the trap of muck stakes. The trigger for it is if inflict four is done to anyone. Uh, to interact to shut it off, I need to test. Um, I just need. I need to pass it four times, but I need to task um, Dex. I only roll two dice. Two, two, two dice for that. Each character in this room gains one threat token and must resist three. If there are no characters in this room, draw one threat card and discard this card. Huh. Okay, so that goes with the alchemy. That is a trap that is in this room. Okay, cool. That's just be a trap that's in this room. So that's all that's there. Um, I will move back one to not go in that room for my third movement. I'm not going in that room. Draw another threat to guard. Okay, that ends my three turns. We follow in order first. We go to the order of ten is the threat turn first. So there's a Frox here. He's going to move six to get to me. Um, he, he can't cut across this. He has to go around it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So get here. Uh, let's see. If unable to engage, gain an armor token. So he's got three armor now. Cool. Uh, that is 
that for the threat. Nope, this, this guy happens. Activate. If there are no minion cards in your threat area, draw one lurker card. There is a minion there, so not my problem. Cool. After doing that, then it goes to the villain's turn. Each hero must either discard one focus or discard one supply. Okay, I have no focus to discard, so there that goes. Is there any water? Nope. So I'm all good. Is there any water? Nope, I'm all good. Okay, after I do that, it is the... Oh, I gotta draw a villain card. Concealed Flatulence. Sweet. Each minion gains two armor tokens. Each hero with no minion in their threat area must draw a lurker card. This guy is becoming powerful. He's got five armor. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to kill him. All right. All right, so that's that. I have no threat on me, so then it goes to the quest turn. So now we start going through all this stuff. Okay. Uh, a, hero a hero adjacent to this gains a supply. I'm not adjacent to it. That doesn't happen. Alchemy desk. A hero adjacent to here heals one damage. I'm not adjacent to it, so that doesn't happen. This activates. E each character in the room gains one threat token. Oh no, that's what happens when it That's what happens when it activates. So it doesn't activate. Because the trigger is four that makes the activate happen. So that's not a problem. Come down to here. If a hero controls the prisoner, each hero with no minions in their threat area draws one threat card. I do not control the prisoner, not a problem. Cool. That ends oh, and I'm supposed to draw a card every time I end my turn. That is the end of the quest turn. Can't open more than one. Oh, that's right. I can't open more than one door a turn. That is right. Thank you for reminding me, Chris. Thank you. I, I always miss that rule. We'll keep this here. We'll keep this here. This was my mistake. Mistake number one. I can only open one door every round. I can't go opening up a bunch of doors. Okay, this was what would happen anyway, so I'll say, I'll spend an action this turn to say that that happened. Hey everyone, oh, hey Brian, hey everyone. <laughs> hey Brian, nice cold day here in Iowa today. So I will keep my mistake and I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it with an action. I was supposed to, I would have stayed here, which would put the frogs here still not in control of me, and all this would have happened. I can only open one door in a round, so I messed that up, and to pay for it, I'll, I'll say I used an action to move here to get to the door. How about that? Cool? Cool. Okay. So, these would have cleaned up. I'm gonna use a shadow. Gain another armor for myself. Reroll a shadow die. Water, that is bad. That is oh so bad. There's no wind. So. This is in range five. So in range five. In range five, because that's five on this card, I'm going to do the Duval Ward Cry, which is a feat, which is free. I'm going to test Charisma. I just need to pass in my Charisma's two. I passed and I got a focus. So it says, for each success, either gain one armor token or discard one armor token from an enemy within range. So one of his is going away. And then I'm going to burn Shadow here to deal one true damage to that enemy. So he's down to four health, five health. No, six health. He's back down to regular health. And then I reroll this die. I got another Shadow. Okay. Then I will discard this card. I'm going to move into this guy's range. So one, two. And then I will and knock off some of that armor. 
fires up so I can deal another two damage to him. So I'm going to exhaust this card because I'm next to him to deal one another damage to him, which is now he's down to five health. And then, uh, oh, that's fire. So I gotta reroll this. Come on, earth. Wind, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna burn that to get another armor. Back to fire, which is okay. I'm gonna do a furious arc on him with my third action um, to attack him. So I'm attacking him within range, which is two. Wow. Wow. So <laughs> I'm going to make... Um, that's okay. I'm going to gain these two focus for this. That was just a bad roll. But I'll take the two focus. But I am going to burn fire to deal another damage to him. So he's down to uh, four health. Reroll this. Goes back to fire again. Cool. Oh, I didn't do the altar card. Um, each figure must either discard one armor token or suffer one damage. So he will have to discard one. I'll have to discard one. I forgot to do this one. And that was burning the fire, which went back to shadow. Uh, each hero may suffer. Yeah, I'm not going. <laughs> so, okay, cool. Um, anything else I can do? These are actions. I will draw a card to end my turn. Okay. That'll end my turn. The min their turn to go first. So first here, if there is no minion card in your threat area, draw draw a lurker card. I'm gonna worry about that, but this guy is going to inflict uh five. I roll two dice. I got an exploding die. Wow. I'm gonna spend one to make it at least two. So that's two. Then one, two, three. So he doesn't hit me. So that's a total of five. And I'm gonna get um I'm gonna get one focus back for that. Then he is going to use water to try to inflict, but I'm going to exhaust the altar to cancel that altar effect for my mysterious stone. So he's going to try to use this on me, but it's not going to work. But I still roll the die, and it's another shadow. And I get Earth to save my life. So that's not going to happen, nerd. Okay, that ends their turn. We move back up here to activate. Each hero must either discard one focus or discard one supply. Any water? Nope. All right. Supply. A hero adjacent to this feature may gain one supply. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Anyone near the altar? Nope. The trap didn't trigger. Uh, the altar. Each hero may suffer one damage to change one altar die to a result of their choice. Each hero in the altar room may deal one damage. So I'll take one damage or turn... To turn this fire into an earth. Okay, so I do that and I took the damage. Um, the fire then tries to proc, but there's nothing there for it to do because haha. Um, if a hero controls the prisoner, each each hero with no minion in their threat area draws one threat card. No one controls the prisoner. That's it. Flip it back over. I almost forgot the altar card last time, so cool. My turn. Okay. So, the first action, I'm going to spend Exploit Surroundings. I search, which my search is three. Then each character in the room gains a token. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that just yet. I don't want to do that just yet. Hold on. First, these come off. I'm going to spend this shadow, gain an armor. Wind. I'm going to spend this to gain an armor. Fire. I'm going to spend this to deal one damage to this guy. True damage through. 
So he's got three health left. Roll it. Light. And that would exhaust that. I'm going to spend this earth. To gain one armor. Just shadow. Light and shadow. That seems to be the theme today. Okay, so I used all that. I got you at four damage. I'm wasting time with you. You got three shield. I only roll two dice against you. I'm just going to I'm going to do search three, and it needs a four to trigger. Jeez, I'm rolling focus like you wouldn't believe. Um, I did pass because I got one success. Then each character in your room gains one armor. So I did pass the draw search card which is a potion of might. Before rolling dice tests, add two to it. That's what I'm looking for. I'm gonna gain those three. You can only have five focus, max, so I'm maxed out. Then, uh, so that was, this was my action. Then I'm going to fight you, burning this potion of might. So I'm going to roll four dice this time. Because I rolled two for my strength and two more for the test using the potion. Alright. Here we go. I got one ex I got three focus. One exploding die. An exploding die and another focus. I'm going to spend one, two. Three focus to make it four damage. So one, two, three, and I only do one damage to him. So he's at five, he's got two health left. Hit three. And this potion goes back in here at the bottom. Okay. Oh, this guy's killing me. I don't want to kill him just yet. One, two, three, and I can open this door. Uh, this would have cleared off because it cancels the effects, and then it came around to that turn. That would have cleared off. Okay. I'll go, I'll move and open up another door. One, two, three, and I will open this door. Because that's... Oh, wait. Yeah, this is round three. Because <laughs> I was like, I removed the turn and then things happen. So I can't open this room. So I'll open this door. Draw a feature card. It is the weapon rack. Go here against the wall. Draw a quest card. Sudden panic, panic overcomes the prisoner. Oh, boy. When revealed, attach this card to the prisoner. While this card is attached to the prisoner, they cannot move or be moved by any hero card effect. Quest effects can still move them. Once during their act phase, a hero adjacent to the prisoner may do one of the following. Oh, boy. Okay. So he's just having a rough go of it. Cool, cool, cool. Then we draw a minion. It is a Frox Muck Slinger. So the Muck Slinger is yellow. He spawns over here in the corner. It's him in the corner. Okay. He has a range of five. He has six health because of this card, and he has two shield that comes into my threat area. 
All right. Okay. What's my looking at here? I think that's me, so I'll draw a card to say I'm done. Okay. Their turn. So this comes first. There are minions in my threat area, so ignore that. Okay, I need to come in. I could start, I gotta kill this guy to start getting rid of this thing. So, this guy will move here, and then he will inflict five. Huh, good grief. So, I gotta spend one. So, two, I get one back. And one, two, three comes off. So he doesn't kill me. And is there any water? No. This other guy, um, then he will activate. He just needs to be five range away from me, and he gets to move six. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll put him right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is where he would go. Range gets to go through doors, but melee, uh, it's, how, it's how the rules work. <laughs> okay, so he's going to inflict four. Uh, my dex is two. Uh, so I block two, and I block the other two, thank goodness, and I get a focus. So this comes off, and then I have another shield, which is the two that would hit me. So I'm good. There's no water, so I'm all good there, too. Then we go up to this dude. Each hero must either discard one focus or discard one supply. We'll discard a focus. There's no water. Then we draw a card. The infamous croak of bollocks. Bollocks. Okay, so this is good focus. Okay, so. Each hero must activate the enemy in their threat area that is furthest from them. Each hero unable to activate an enemy this way must draw a lurker card. Cool. I'm getting punched in the face by this 4-1 again. So that guy's furthest from me. I got one success. I'll spend one to make... Uh, yeah, I'll spend one... To make it two, that's three. He still gets through and hits me with four. And when they hit me, I take a threat token. So I take one damage. Each time a character with a threat token would heal. So I got a threat token. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. That ends his turn. Then it goes to the quest turn, which all the altars and stuff go. Each hero, did I draw a card? Yes, I did. Each hero may suffer one damage to change one ultra die to the result of what they want. I will do that. I'll go down to two. I'm gonna change this dude to win. There's no fire die, so that's fine. I'm not active next to this guy. I'm not active next to that. I'm not active next to that. Uh, I don't control the prisoner, so that doesn't happen. So that ends all those other phases. Cool. So my turn. Okay. I'm going to spend this to get an armor. And now let me pull these off, because they'll be going back on. So. Water. I'm going to spend the shadow. Get another armor. On earth, thank you. I'm gonna spend this earth, gain another armor, one more earth. Um, I am going to then play the old ways as a feat, test three dice. I need to pass a three. Yep, one, two, three success, so I pass. If passed, deal two damage to an enemy within range. 
which I'll hit that guy, um, which he'll block. It says deal two damage. Oh, it's true damage. So it goes through. One, two, three, which will kill him. So this guy dies. When he dies and I beat him, I get a supply. And he goes to the realm of terrible bad things. Cool. So you're gone. Okay. So if passed, deal two damage to an enemy within range to heal two, which I would heal two and go back up to four. And then I will spend the shadow to heal one more damage to go back up. The old ways is so cool. And I got wind. Cool. Okay. That was a feat, too. So it didn't cost me an action. Um, then my second action is I'm going to test on this to get rid of it. Um, so I'll. So, well, my first action is to do that. To test this to get rid of it, I will test two. Oh, and the first heal, actually, it would go to four. This would come off. The threat got to go first, so I wouldn't go all the way up. An exploding die, two, and a fate. So I've gotten three successes. So it says, once during your act phase, while you're at least two rooms away from the stairs, you may task this X, where X equals the number of enemies in your room. What? I don't get that. Where X equals the number, you may task. Oh, whatever I gotta beat. There's no enemies in my room. So it's three. So I have to beat that number. I have to beat zero. I got three. That makes sense. So I got one, two, three on here. So I got three successes of six. Cool, and I get a focus. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Okay. Um, ba, 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 ba. I'm gonna discard a focus to change an altar die to what I like. I'm gonna change you to fire, to fire. Fire? Nope. Earth? <laughs> the Earth? Then that'll work. Then I'm going to play as my second action, because it said once per phase, once during your phase, I can do that. Uh, I'm going to play Battle Lust to move three. One, two, three to get adjacent to this dude. Then I attack. I roll two dice. To attack, he has two shield, six health. Cool. That's two successes, which his shields completely absorb. But I'm going to spend this earth to deal one true damage to him. And then roll. For more wind. Wind. And that'll be that. Running out of cards. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do. Uh, that's all I'll do. I will then um, just attack him regular. See if I can get an exploding die for my third action. I don't want to use this card just yet. Two exploding die. Interesting. Another exploding die. And a success. So I got one, two, three, four, five. I got, oop, I hit that. So I got five damage. He blocks two. He takes three. So he is at two health left. Wow. That was a good roll. All right. Draw a card and my turn. I got Biting Distance. That ought to be interesting. 
Okay, let's do it. Uh, his turn, uh, first this thing's turn. If there's no minion card in your threat area, draw a lurker card. I'm good. His, he then will engage, inflict. So roll two. An exploding die. A. And I will, so that's three. I'll take the focus. Just takes off one of my shields. No biggie. Is there any water there? Nope. Uh, each hero must either discard one focus or discard one supply. Um, I'll do a focus because I want to buy stuff. Then I draw a card. Concealed Flatulence. Each minion gains two armor token. Each hero with no minion in their threat area must draw a lurker card. <sighs> this guy's armor is getting ridiculous. True damage is the only way to kill him now. Okay. Um, no water. From that, then we go over to the altar. Uh, each hero may discard, may take one damage to change an altar dice to what I need. I will do that. Three. And I'm going to change this light to an earth. And no fires there to bother me. That doesn't bother me. Nope, I'm not, I'm not next to any of those than this. I don't control the prisoner, so that doesn't matter. Look back over. Cool. My turn. These up. Let's do what we do best. Boom. Shield. <laughs> Reroll. Water. That's bad. Uh, boom. Shield. Reroll. Light. Uh, yeah. Not over there. I'm not ready for that. I want to start fighting lurkers and I need to start opening doors. One, three, one, then I can open the door. If I kill this guy. <laughs> um, I will. Let's see what I'll do. I will, um, I can, I'm going to do, uh, seems like a wasteful action. The thing is, I don't want to kill him. <laughs> I don't want to kill him. I want to open these doors. And he's just going to keep spitting at me if I do this. Um, oh, oh, he's in my room. So I'm going to do this thing again. So I'm going to test two, and I need to beat one for success. Oh, yeah. There's that. And I'll get a focus. So I put one on this bad boy, so it's at four. So that's that. That was one action. Well, is it, though? Once during your act phase, well, oh, yes, yeah, an action. That's an action to do that. Um, I so could kill this guy. I'll search. I'm gonna do my search. All I need is just one success. I got two and a focus. So my search works. I get a potion of willpower. That should come in handy. That lets me roll two more dice with that. Um, I will then burn this to discard one armor token from this guy. And re-roll this. Come on. Earth. Oh, it's light. Okay. That will get discarded. <laughs> oh. I'm holding on to that card. Um, he's got three shielding. I'll only roll two dice against him. So true damage really is the only thing I can do. 
Um, 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 uh, I could do one, two, three. One, two, three. Then he has to come get me. So I'll do that. Let's let's start going exploring. So flip this. One, two, three. Flip this. One, two, three, and I'll open that door. Draw a card. Hey, it's the altar. Hey, so the altar is here. Uh, place this in. Place the altar in this room, then discard this card. Cool. So I'll flip this bottom. Then we draw a quest card. Turnkey's chamber. By some stroke of luck, you have found the turn the turnkey's chambers. The room is festened with documents, maps, and keys, all the information you wish for during your rescue operation. When revealed, each hero may place one progress on an objective card in their threat area. Each hero who does not have an objective card in the threat area may gain one focus and one supply, then attach this card to the room's feature card. Once during their act phase, a hero in this room may discard one focus to either place one progress. Oh, this is amazing. So I get another progress on this card. I'm one away. I'm one away. Okay, so this will go here. Kind of works. So that's my three. Um, I got nothing else better to do, so I will draw a card. Sworn to protect. It's a reaction. Okay. All right, their turn. Um, if there's no minion card, there is, so no lurker. That's why I'm hanging on to him. Then his turn, he needs to get um, five closer to me. One, two, three, four, five. So he just needs to come here. Actually, he needs to come right at the door if he wants to really do it because I'm angled. So he'll come to the door. Then he can shoot or. I need to do tutors to try to uh, block that inflict. I've got two plus one. I'll do one to make it three. One shield, which is four. So no damage to me. Cool. Then we go to this guy. Each hero may either discard one focus. Yep, I don't mind doing that. And draw a card. Noxious presence. Each hero must resist. Three, each hero that suffers damage from this must either discard one supply or suffer a damage. And I roll three dice to try to resist it. One, two, three with an exploding die. Four, and I get a focus back. So I resist. Nanny, nanny boo boo. Okay. Then it's the altar's turn. Each hero. May suffer one damage uh, to change an altar dice to what I want. Oh wait, water. He had water. Each here engage, and each character with a threat token suffers one damage. But he would engage again, so he would move. Well, he's at the range that he needs to. He'll come here because he'll use this. Um, I don't have a threat token, so I suffer no damage. Reroll. It's Earth. Here we go. There's no water for you to use. The altar comes up. I'm not taking a damage to change a die. Um, I don't have fire there. I'm not close to that, that, or that. Um, I don't control the prisoner. Cool, my turn. I forgot to use the water when he came up, so got it. Got it, good. Okay, so. Um, my turn. Let's let's do the let's do the hokey pokey, shall we? So we'll do that to gain an armor. Roll this die. Oh man, this is fantastic. Then I'll use this to do here to gain another armor. Roll the die. It's light. Okay, then it says, once during the act phase, a hero in this room may discard one focus to place one progress, which will get rid of this card. 
Yes, I will do exactly that. So my first thing is to move three. One, two, three. My second is to, is to discard a focus to gain progress, which I've completed this. This is now done. This is done, my dudes. This has been beaten. So you will go at the bottom here. Cool. I just have a minion here. That was my second action. Or heal one damage from the prisoner. I don't have the prisoner yet to do that yet. That's okay. I did what I needed to. I got rid of that thing. What's next to do? Um, what can I do next to the altar? Nothing. Oh, wait. Um, each hero in the altar's room may deal one damage to an enemy in their room. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that was two. Do that. It's reaction to gain an armor. I've already burned those two. Choose an enemy within range. Move that enemy three spaces towards you. Nope, I'm okay with that. I'm going to use my third to draw a card. To do Vol War Cry. And that'll end my turn, so I get another card, which is my upgrade card, my one upgrade card that I have. Uh, so, cool. Okay. His turn. He's going to move. One, two, three, four. He's going to shoot me. Uh, that's going to be three, because I blocked one, so three shield come off. And I'll get a focus. I'll end his turn. This guy's turn. Uh, discard a focus. Draw a card. Tongue from the dark. Each hero must resist for um, strength four. Each hero that suffers damage this way must either exhaust one equipment card they control or discard one supply. I've already exhausted it. Uh, but we will roll the two and see what comes of it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So that is two. And I'll get the two focus. And I block with the two with these two. The other two four. So no bollocks. No. Okay. Then comes the quest, the altar. Each hero may suffer one damage to change an altar die. Not gonna do that. Um each hero in the altar room may deal one true damage to an enemy in their room. I am going to do just that. Uh, there's no fire. There's no water. I am next to the altar, but none of these things proc. If the hero controls the prisoner, I do not. Um, that's it. Okay. I'm just gonna be dragging that guy with me, I'm not gonna lie. So the first one I'm gonna move three, one, two, three, and open this door. It's going to be the cauldron. Which is another Kickstarter dude. This thing. This guy. So this will go up here in the corner. A hero adjacent to this feature may place one search token on this card to gain one discarded consumable search card. If I interact with it, search, then you may reveal the top three cards of the search deck. Discard one revealed consumable card and shuffle the rest back into. Okay. All right. Um, I'm supposed to pull a quest card next. Revisited trauma. Attach this to the prisoner. The prisoner is overcome with dread. When this is attached to the prisoner, they cannot move or be moved by any hero card effect. Quest effects can still move them. Once during their act phase, a hero adjacent to the prisoner may do one of the following. 
So I'm curious um, if anyone knows this one for the when I've already got one of these attached to the prisoner. And I let me look in the book because does this mean that two get attached to the prisoner or do I discard one and attach the other? Attaching cards, that's the weird thing about the prisoner. Scenario. I don't know if I discard one, if only one thing can be attached to someone. Uh, threat quest resolving threat cards. Because it basically becomes unwinnable <laughs> if if I can't do anything. So I think I don't know if someone knows. I think we would discard the one that's under him and place it with this one. Uh, equipment supply, damage healing features, allies. Some cards will have conditional effects if unable to inflict. No, turning out cards in the deck. Nope. Threat cards, campaign rules, journal. It doesn't say. A great enemy. You know when stuff doesn't say, you know where I go? Board Game Geek, see if someone answered this question already. So, let me take a look. Pull up a browser, because we can. Over here, we go to Board Game Geek, Ultra Quest. Go to the forums. I probably need to leave up a window so I can share it with you all. Uh, Bollocks has no speed. Playing Ultra Quest. Um, is there a search? Yep, yeah, there's a search here. So, Prisoner. Search Prisoner. I suggest you relabel the ten box ruins. Um, let me see if they're got their um errata. Nothing says it in the errata. I don't know how I would rule this. I would rule replacing because it becomes unwinnable at that point. I have not found the prisoner. What happens to the discard? Oh, sorry, one of my past. I'm not really seeing anything in here that, that points to prisoner. Uh, let me see if there are rata rules are in here. Wow, people have really been asking questions. Uh, feeling of victory, lurker minions. Let's see if I can grab pull a window share in here so you can guys can see it with me. Uh, window capture. Call it. Sure. And now you should be able to see what I'm seeing. Okay, uh, let's make this a little bit more visible, shall we? From here, we'll go break it down a little so people can see it. And break it down a little bit more. Okay. All right, so you guys can see what I'm seeing now. So let's see. Um... We do a search in here for prisoner. Do a search. We say rules submit. Victor reveal. Does the correct prisoner activate like normal threat? Um. Hmm. When there is no prisoner, 
what do you think happens to the revisited trauma when there is no prisoner? This is just telling how to win it. <laughs> this one says, explain it to me. <laughs> Regarding the rescue, explain it to me. Um, the prisoner spawns when you find the cell. When you find the cell. I haven't found the cell. Okay. So that's when he spawns. Um, the wording means it is free. The catch is you can only do it once per act. Uh, this is why I wish they could slide over a few cards. He does not start on the board. He is damaged while off the board. The objective card. Um, I may have made it too easy on myself with playing the above ways. I'm pretty sure it was past flying colors. Sure. When I played the rescue, the prisoner had multiple stacks. The multiple stacks and other conditions had been defeated once and had three damage before I was lucky enough to find him shackled to the altar. If he had been in a non-altar feature room, I would have had to move him to an altar room. So here it says multiple shackles. Oh, multiple shackles, not stacks. That's fine. And other conditions. The other conditions means the card, but does that mean it pushes the card out? Uh, also, the quest rules cards say to shuffle the cell, card three, blah, blah, blah. In summary, the rescue works like this. Closer starts off the board, is immune to damage, sure, sure. Except via the torture, which is what happens with bollocks. Explore the dungeon until you find the cell. Pass the test on the shackles to break them. If the prisoner has any other quest cards attached, you must remove them before he will move. They stack. Cool. That tells me they stack. Matt Smith, thank you. Uh, cell says to spawn the prisoner. Yep, so they stack. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. All right, so that's going on him too. Okay. Then... That was the that was the quest for finding this room, for opening this room. Then, because I need to find the cell, then we draw this guy, which is another trap that goes in this room. So these two are going to when that happens. Um, so that is my first action to do that. My second action... This would have come off. This would have come off. I'm going to spend this earth to gain this. Give me a win. Fire. He has two health left. Um, I'm going to dis I'm going to exhaust this. Valerie's message to change one of these. Um, you change one altar die to a result of your choice. Wind. Then I'm going to burn wind. Get another armor. Shadow. I'm going to burn this to get another armor. And back to fire. Um, Mm -hmm. I will three put me there. I can open up this. Yeah, I need to find cell. So I have a feed I can play or something. I don't have a shadow to. I could have done this with my shadow. That's all right. I'll do it. I'll do the war cry test charisma. I got a success, and that I will turn that into success. 
Um, and that will say, for each success, either gain one token or discard one token, armor token from an enemy. So I will gain an armor token. I will discard an armor token in range five, which he is just barely one, three, four, five. And that will get rid of that. But he's down to one shielding, so I can kill him now. <laughs> um, but I'm going to move one, two, three. And then... I can play this as reaction to get an armor token. And then I'm going to move again. Oh, I can't open that. I opened this one this turn. Can't do it. Can't do it. What can I do? I can draw a card, rest, discard one supply to heal two. I can resolve the interact listed. I'm going to channel for my third action to gain one focus and um, change one ultra die to a result of my choice. I'm gonna change this light to that, and then I will burn this to gain another armor token. Getting water. Okay. That will draw a card to end my turn. Cool. Did all I could do. <laughs> All right, so his turn first, he's going to move six. One, two, three, four, five, six, which puts him in range of spit space. Um, he is going to, I have, he's going to inflict four, little two. I got one, two, three. I'll spend, well, I'll spend one to make it three. So one, two, three, one shield off to make it four. Um, that ends. Hit. There's water. I will ne I will exhaust this to negate that effect for that water, but I still need to re-roll the die. Light. This nerd's turn. I will discard a focus and draw a card. Not just flatulence. Each hero must resist three. And I roll three dice. One, two, three, and a focus. So I get a focus back. I resisted. He has three more cards before he pops out. Then the altar activates. Each hero may suffer one damage um, to change an altar dice to what I need. Change it to wind. Um, and I'm not in the altar room anymore. There is a fire. Each figure must e each figure must either discard one armor token or suffer one damage. He doesn't have an armor token, so he takes a damage. Earth popped up. Cool. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't control the prisoner. Flip it back. He's got one health left. <laughs> I don't want to draw a lurker card. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, because I'm just going to keep walking away from this guy. Before I do that, uh, let's pull these off. I'm going to spend wind, gain an armor. I'm going to spend earth uh, to gain an armor. Cool, so he's going to die next. Okay, so um got some good armor. I'm going to spend my first action to move. One, open this door. Oop, draw a feature. The bookshelf. The bookshelf. I'll go here. The quest card says, Quack the cell! 
There he is. There he is. Okay. As you open the door, you hit... Oh, let me pull it up for people. Okay. As you open the door, you hear struggled breathing and the rattle of chains. A sour smell overwhelms you, accompanying the sight of such poor accommodation. A shadowy figure is hunched nearby, working pit pitilessly against the chains that bind them. As the prisoners alerted of your presence, they look up and plead for your help. Another shadow in the room curses and then flees into the darkness, most likely to report your intrusion. There isn't much time to waste. It's time to escort the prisoner out of their wretched holding. When revealed, attach this card to the room's feature card, then place the prisoner's token in a space adjacent to this room's feature. He's tied to the bookshelf. Where are you at, big man? Yeah, there you go. You're here. Cool. Okay. Oh, nope. Here. Then attach the prisoner's token. Oh, attach the prisoner's token. Uh, which is all this good stuff. We found him, and he's got a lot of problems, Mac. A lot of problems. Okay, so we're gonna put you here because we're really not going any further <laughs> with quest cards. Um, all right. Okay. Cool. Got one kill on. So, and then that was the quest. Then we draw this frock smug sli muck slinger. What happens if he dies? If the prisoner is defeated, place its card in the villain play area and then attach the top card of the shackle deck to the prisoner. Its token stays on the board. Okay, so. It just comes back. Gotcha. So cool. A little muck slinger. Oh. Green. Green, green, green. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Popped here. I need to close the distance. It's going in my thread area. He's got six health, two shield, six movement. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to spend this to move one. Oh, sorry. That was one, two, three. I'm going to spend another one. One, two, three. Ooh, I got a reaction. I still have my reaction, right? I didn't spend that. Did I? I spend... Nope. I still have it. Cool. Yep, so I could use my reaction to do that. So my third, got my reaction card to protect him. He's going to be good. My third thing is to I will move again. Move three. One, two, three. This reaction is going to be fun. Uh, actually, no. One, two, one, two, two. Yeah, I won't do that. This guy's going to get another shot at me. I can react to stop this guy from hitting him. I'm going to be taking some damage. I need to armor up. I'm going to play for my third action. I'm going to play Exploited Surroundings to do Search. Got two successes in one of these. Then it says each character in your room gains one armor token. Uh, 
Um, I get the search. Quick root. Yes. Okay. Um, cool. That'll be that. It says each character. Oh, so he gets one too. Okay. Cool. To do that search. Then. Oh, that was my action. That was it. Done. Draw a card. Cool. This thing's turn. One, two, three, four, five. It'll put him here. He will then spit shot at me. I got two. So he hits me for two more. Two armor come off. Cool. This guy's turn. He's going to see that guy and want to shoot him. But I'm going to do Sworn to Protect. Play this card when an enemy within range inflicts, which is what he is doing. He's inflicting. Um, gain one armor token and move three spaces. One, two, three towards him. And I will become the new target. So he's going to try to inflict on me. Oh, the first guy, there was a water token. Um, I'm going to negate that. So let's reroll the shout. Oh, uh, whoa. Uh, I'll take, I'll spend one, I'll gain, gain, spend one to make one success. I gain one from this other one. He hits me for three armor come off. Cool. There's no water for him to use. Then it goes to this guy. Each hero must discard one focus, which I'll do. We'll draw one of his cards. Acid Reflux, event. The hero with the fewest cards in their threat area, me, must resist. Okay. Exploding die. Cool, so one, two, uh, three, four. Well, three. Four, and then I gain one from that. Gets rid of this card. Bollocks is soon to arrive. All right. So then it goes to after that, after this, after that, it goes to the quest. Uh, each hero suffers one damage to change one ultra die um, to a result of their choice. No, I won't do that. Um, fire is here. Each figure. Oh, so he doesn't get a shield because it said figure would do it. Each figure must either discard one armor token or suffer damage. Um, he has an armor token. I have an armor token. They don't. This guy dies. Uh, two, four, six, seven. Yep. He'll die. This guy will take one. When you die, I get a supply. Go to the bottom of the deck. Cool. So you are there. Actually, you wouldn't inflict. You would have gotten an armor token from this thing. And now that would go away. So you wouldn't take any damage. You're good. You're good. This guy's dead. Uh -huh. Keep one alive and then you run. That's what that's the job. Alright, so uh that's the altar. Gotta reroll this die. Cool. Then we come down to this. Nope, 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 nope. Wait, what's the bookcase? Uh a hero, so nope. Uh if the hero controls the prisoner, I do not. And that's it. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, so pick these up. Spend this shadow to gain an armor token. Fire comes up. Spend this to gain an armor token. Light comes up. Um, 
Okay. All right. Then I will spend my first action to get up on this dude. And now let's start helping you. So, um, okay. So now I got to gain control of the prisoner. So I need to test willpower. I'm going to be using this card. My willpower is two. I'll be rolling two more. One, two, three, and I get a focus. That's what I needed. I have gained control of the prisoner. Discard this card. Huey! Dude, I need your help. You are with me. Cool. Um, the ally may move up to four spaces, then either attack or you may roll up to two die. But he's got these two things going. So during their act, once during their act phase, a hero adjacent to the prisoner may do one of the following. So it doesn't say it costs an action, but I get to do it. Once during their act phase, I get to try these things. So, um, so he can't move until I pass one of these tests. The first one, I'm going to roll three die. Actually, this one, and let's see, roll this and suffer one damage to carefully calm the prisoner. Roll this to endure the prisoner's panic. Flailings. Test willpower to understand the prisoner concerns. I'm going to take a damage to stop this dude. I just need one success, and I got it. So I take one damage. Bye bye. The card's gone. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I could punch him in the face. It'd be like, move. That's what I'm doing. So you inflict me. <laughs> Walk. <laughs> and, I, and I succeeded. He takes one damage. Um, and I get a focus. And I tell him to move, getting rid of this card. Okay. So that interact was one. And then these other ones don't say interact. It just says once, once um, during your act phase, I could try one of these on the prisoner. But that interact did cost me an action. So it was movement, interact. He's now mine. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, dude, how about we get out of here? Um, so I'm going to... Okay, so he is going, I'm going to exhaust him to move four spaces. One, two, open this door. Three, four. And then it says, um, the ally may move up to four spaces, then either attack or you may roll up to two altar die. Earth and fire. All right. So I'm going to exhaust the smuck root to move. You may want, you might want to have moved next to both Huey and the bookcase. Okay, because I'm getting out of here. All I need to do to win this, if heroes control the prisoner and its token is adjacent to the altar and at least one hero has no enemies in the room, I win. Time to go. I'm going to exhaust this and move two. One, two. <laughs> then I'm going to... What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I can use it to move five, but I don't want to leave him behind. Um, he's going to help me live. <laughs> I'm going to discard one focus, exhaust this, to change the die to something I want. I'm going to change one of these fires into wind. I'm then going to use that wind to on this to gain another armor token. Roll it. Another earth, which is good, good, good. Good, 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 good. good. 
Okay, so I'm ready for him for the next run. Cool. We can move six. One, two, three, four, five. He'll get in the room. So I'm going to move to get out the doorway, making him come in the room. He'll have to come in the room if he wants to, if he wants to hit. And I'll draw a card to end my turn using shadows. All right. Here we go. All right, so his turn, he's going to move six. One, two, three, four, five. He'll have to come in the room. He's going to hit me. This card is discarded. He's going to hit me. Um, so I roll two. Got one success. I'm gonna spend one to make it two. Burn two of these. I don't take any damage. Once I get him in the altar room, I kill him. End the game. All right. So that ends his turn. Box's turn. Each hero must either discard one focus or one supply. One focus will go. Toxic tactics. Each hero must either discard one supply or resist or resist five. I can get rid of Supply F3. Get rid of that card. Um, no water. No water for you either to do anything with. Each hero may suffer one damage to change an Ultra Die to what they want. Not doing that. Um, but there is Fire. And it says each hero must either discard one Armor Token or suffer one damage. Armor Token, uh, each figure. So he's going to take another damage. He's going to take a damage because he doesn't have an armor token to discard. Rolled light. Come on. Okay. That ends that. Uh, I'm not close to the crate. <laughs> so, nope, 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 nope. And this. If a hero controls the prisoner, each hero with no minion in their threat area draws one threat card. I have a minion in my threat area. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so now it's my back to my turn. Clear all the stuff off. Huey, I need you to get a move on, so I'm gonna exhaust you to move four. One, two, three, four. You're in the altar room. I need to get you to the altar though. So next turn you'll be good. And you're gonna roll two altar dice. You're gonna roll these two lights. Shadow and that, that'll work. I'm gonna burn this shadow, get an armor, water. Um, Huey's going to use water. It says change up to two other ultra dice to results of your choice. This one's going to be wind. And what else do you need? What else do you need, my dude? The wind and earth is there. And this one is going to be shad. I'll, I'll make that one earth as well. Roll this. Earth. Cool. Now, Huey's done. I just need to sneak him around back here and let him hang out for a second. Um, I'm going to do this to gain an armor token. Wind. Or wind. I'm going to do this to gain an armor token. Earth, shadow. I'm going to then spend the fire to inflict one true damage on this guy. So I'll stick this fire, wind again. Um. Then I will <laughs> okay, I'm going to play using shadows for my first. I'm going to use it to move three spaces and gain two armor tokens. One, two, three, gain two armor tokens. I'm then going to exhaust shadow to gain one more armor token on it. Roll. 
win. Starting that card. Um, <laughs> I'm not ready to move two spaces to let him take some hits, so I'm just going to have to sunker here. I'm going to um, gain a focus. I'm going to channel, gain a focus, and change an alter die to a choice of what I'd like. Um, I'm going to change this to shadow. Um, then I will, last action, draw a card. That's my final action, and then I will draw one more card, say my turn's over. Here we go to win, here we go. So, his turn, uh, he is in range to uh, spit on me. So he's going to shoot, I need to do this. Two successes, so he hits me for two. There's no water. This turn, just get rid of a focus. No water. His final card, Acid Reflux. Hero with the fewest cards in their threat area must resist four. Uh, one. I will have to lose three shielding, three, and gain a focus. He is coming out next. Okay, Alter. Each hero may suffer one damage to change an Alter die to what you want. I'm not in the room to hurt anybody. Fire's not there. I'm not doing any of that. Nope, 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 nope. If a hero controls the prisoner, each hero with no minion in their threat area draws a threat card. I have a minion in my threat area. That doesn't work. Put these back over. My turn. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to, sorry, get the stuff off. Let's do this proper. I'm going to exhaust Huey, tell him to move one, two, three, four behind the altar. So he's at the altar. And then he's going to roll two dice. He's going to roll one wind. Up to two dice. So I'll just do the one, which is water. He's, I'm going to hang on to that because I'm going to use that. So first thing, gain an armor token. You roll this die. Fire. Cool. Next thing, gain an armor token. And it's water. Don't worry, I'll be re-rolling that die soon. Next thing, gain an armor token. Wind. Then I will burn this earth token, tell that minion to one, two, three. Yeah, you're four away. Come here. One, two, three. Shadow. So that'll exhaust this ability. Then I will burn the fire to inflict one true damage. Let's get him as close as we can. Get another fire. Then I'm going to use his ability to re-roll, change up to two Alter Dice results. So I'm going to change this to a Fire, re-roll this to Wind, we'll burn that ability. Okay. Okay. Everything's in place to win. <laughs> Here we go. Then, for my first action, it won't kill you if I pass this on my heal, but I don't want to roll that. Nope. I'm in perfect placement. Um, Huey could take one more damage. He'll be fine. 
So then I will move, my first action is I will move three. One, two, three, which will have to make him come in the room. What I want. Actually, before I do that, before I do that, before I do that, I'm going to spend an action to. I gotta make sure I don't kill him. So there is three. He's got six health, so he's got three health left. Yeah, that's what I'll do. One, two, three. You gotta come in the room if you wanna hit me. Second action. Says, if a hero controls a prison, a token is adjacent to the altar, and, and at least one hero with no enemies in the room. Oh, and at least one hero. So I gotta go one, two, three, second action, one. So now he's adjacent. Then I'm going to do this to focus the channel to focus and change one of these fires to an earth. If I can, no threat tokens, I can win this. All right, here we go. His turn. One, two, which will put you right here in enough range to shoot me. Uh, one, two, and I lose two. Cool. Then, his turn. Um, each hero must either discard one focus or, yep, no water. So then he comes out. Let's see how the big bad summons, because this has never happened to me before. <laughs> if he summons in my room, I'm going to be furious. If he summons someplace else, we'll see. So, I can't, I gotta kill him for this to work. Um, let's see how he summons. Yeah, yeah. Set up cards. Villain, that's what I gotta find. Villain, villain, hero actions, villain turn. If the villain has defeated the. It has been defeated during the quest. There will be no villain card to draw, no villain to activate during the villain turn. Uh, there are two main types of villains. During, during the villain turn, heroes must resolve the activate effect of each card in the villain play area from left to right. Then the heroes must draw and resolve one villain card. If the hero cannot draw a villain card because there are none left in the deck, the villain spawns. When the villain spawns, the scheme card is flipped over and the villain figure is placed on the board, spawning enemies. Then the player immediately resolves the activate effect of the villain card. So I have to go to spawning enemies. Uh, spawning enemies. That would have been cool. Index. <laughs> spawning enemies. I have to find that. Uh, yeah. See spawning and oh here it is. Enemies are spawned in it's right below it too. I should be ashamed of myself. Enemies are spawned in various ways. When a minion threat card or lurker card is drawn, the corresponding minion figure is spawned. When the heroes cannot draw a villain card during the villain turn because there are no villain cards left in the deck, the villain spawns. When a minion figure spawns, it typically spawned in a revealed room in the shadowiest nearest the active area, blah, blah, blah. When the villain spawns, the villain figure is placed in a revealed room in the shadow space nearest the most character. He's in my room. Dang it. <laughs> so we get to see him. This is him. I'll hold him up a little closer. That's him. So I gotta kill him. Oh, this has just gotten harder. He spawns right there. Um, activate. Inflict seven, targeting all characters within range nine. If there are no targets within range, it's a characters, not figures. Within range nine, gain one armor token, then engage. Um, if there's water, each hero in the enemy's room must either discard one supplier stuff. Seven. Jeez. Okay. Oh, it says uh, each character. 
and I don't have my reaction to it. There. So you spawn out. We'll put you right here. When he activates, he's just coming out swinging. I haven't gone through the rest of this yet. I got three, so I'm taking four. One, two, three, and I take one damage, which gives me a threat token. Okay. Then two each character within range nine. Target all characters. I want to see if characters need <laughs> needs him too, because that's going to hurt. That actually destroys all my plan. Just got punched in the face. Um, see what does a character? I see what counts as a character. The terminology. Alters, rivals, traps, allies. Allies are characters. Boom. He just got... So what happens when he gets knocked out? Because I only rolled two. Two, which he already had three on him. Um, if the prisoner is defeated, place this card in the villain play area and then attach the top card of the shackle deck to the prisoner. This token stays on board. So he got defeated. Yeah, it's a shackle card. Listen to reason. Uh, interact one, test intellect three. If you pass this card, this card, and gain control of the prisoner. I will never pass this. This just became unwinnable. So he's got shackled by this guy. Cool, so that happened. Let's go to the altar. Each hero may suffer one damage to change an altar die. Not going to do it. There is fire. Each figure must either discard one armor token or suffer one. He hadn't suffered any damage, um, so he would have gained. He has 10 health. He would have lost that one token. You would take a damage because you don't have one to give. And I would take a damage going down to five. And we reroll this die. It's an earth. Okay. Cool. Um, if here controls the prisoner, I do not. I do not control the prisoner. Okay, so then we'll go with. Oh, I'm next to the altar. Um, each hero in the altar's room may deal one damage to an enemy in that room. I'm gonna hit Belch Lord, putting him at nine for true damage. Um, then it will be my turn. Actually, yeah, I'm going to war cry it. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to armor up. Cool. I'm going to... Nope, I'm not going to spend that. I'm going to armor up. Oh, well, so close. Um, oh, and he inflicted, which would have caused... He, he did inflict seven, which would have triggered this. If there is no characters in the room, draw one threat card and discard this card. That stuff starts happening. So another Muck Slinger comes out, but he is here. He isn't. I'll put him here. So that would have happened. Then this one would have triggered, which is another one here. So we've got problems upon problems. Okay, so you would have a shield on you. You are Green Muck Slinger.
that would spawn in this room. You are not my problem right now. Okay, war cry. Two successes. For each success, either gain one to armor token or discard one armor token. Um, so I'm going to gain two. And then I'm going to spend the shadow to deal one damage to an enemy within range, which will be this guy hitting him again for true damage. Roll. Earth. I'm going to... Sp okay, so that'll get rid of this. That was a feat. Uh, for each enemy within range, you may roll one die to one ultra die and then attack. Two damage to an enemy. Uh, move up to three spaces, then attack. On Earth, deal one damage. Okay. All right, we got to do this in order. <laughs> so first, I'm going to spend... So I've done this guy. I've got a fire to burn. Oh, this one will come off. Tell them one of them to come here. I can move him here. And I can spend one movement, play this feat, to start melting people. Okay, so I'm going to spend this. Tell the Belch Lord to come here. So he'll move here, here. The guy's in the door, so he'll be actually right here in my face. Cool. Then. I'll roll this light. Then I'm going to spend an action to do biting distance. Each enemy within range, which is one, you may reroll an ultra die, which would be light or wind. And it also said, then attack this. Uh, one, two, gain this, he has two shields, so that's blocked off, but that's okay. And then I'm gonna burn one of these to gain an armor. <clears throat> and roll, wind. Then I'm going to spend my second action. Oh no, this is a feat. Then I'm gonna play the always as a feat which I test this, roll, exploding die, and I've got enough to make it work. Cool, I will spend one of these to make it three, which succeeds. If passed, deal two damage to an enemy. And then within range, and then heal two. And get rid of that. That was a feat, so I don't spend an action. Then I'm going to, I got fire up. I'm going to spend this action to do uh, furious arc. Nope, 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 nope. So I gotta do this right. I'm going to spend this earth to exhaust this, tell this guy to come here. Want to move through heat. They can move through their stuff to get right next to me. Then I'm going to do Furious Arc. You roll this. Earth again. Um, so this attack targets each enemy within range. I rolled this plus one. Each enemy. Uh, this attack targets each enemy within range. One, two, three successes. This guy's one shield, so two, that's four, five, six. That's enough to kill you. So you die. I got a supply. You're dead. Wait. Where's the other guy? Oh, yeah, you're dead. You're gone. Four. Okay. And that's three to you as well. You've got two shielding, but one gets through. Then, my good sir, I'm going to burn fire to hit you for two more damage. You're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got three health left. Roll this. Win. 
That was an action to do that. Then... Don't have enough to bust you in the face. Um... Um, 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 um. Okay. Yep, I'm going to discard this focus to change an altar die, a wind one, to shadow. I'm going to do that. Gain this. Roll. Water. All right, I'm not worried about it. Um, no, that would exhaust this. What else can I do? This guy's in the threat area, and so is Bollocks. Um, Yeah, three, six, seven. I need to hit him three more times. I'm going to spend an action to draw a card and end my turn. So this guy goes, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. If unable, engage in each character within range. Gain a threat token. Fox's turn. He will resist this for seven, which will trigger that card, but we'll deal with that when that comes up. Yeah, it's two exploding dice. Another exploding die. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two of these. Cool, cool, cool. This goes off. Sermon in a frocks, Yomancer. Um, who is green? This is going to be a long haul fight. <laughs> um, that goes off in this room. Here's the crack here. Okay. Um, he did whatever he's going to do. There's a water. Each here in this, um, actually it would have been this guy's turn. Um, I will... I'll take the one damage from his reroll. Okay. Um, cool, that ends that. Each hero may suffer one damage to change an ultra die. No. Uh, but each hero in the ultra room may deal one damage to an enemy in their room. Bollocks. Got two health left, son. And then, um, fire's not up. None of these activate. I don't have control of the minion. Okay. My turn. Pull these off. And this to get an armor. That's the important thing. That's not cool. I'm going to spend the focus, change one of these to uh, shadow, and then I'm going to spend shadow to gain another armor. Okay. Then I'm going to exhaust this to spend this fire to deal one damage to him. Water pops up. 
Um, I really needed that to not be water. <laughs> okay, so then I'm going to tell, I'm going to... Nope, don't have an earth one to make that happen. All right. Let's see what we got. Um, I'm going to spend an action to gain a focus and change one of these dice. To fire. Because I'm going to kill Bollocks now. <laughs> I'm going to kill him right now. I just need to get here. I'm going to... Bollocks dies now. I'm going to spend another action. Change this to Earth. Then I'm going to burn Earth. Tell that other guy to come over here. Another Earth, which is cool. I'm going to burn that. Get another shield. goes to fire which is fantastic better than you would imagine i'm then going to spend my final action to do furious arc which will do two damage roll um that's two i get two of these no no i don't no i don't no i don't i'm gonna spend these two make it four I hop through there and I kill Bollocks, the Belch Lord, so he's dead. And I knock off this shield and I do two damage to you. Cool. Cool. Belch Lord's dead. Bye, nerd. And I get a supply for killing him. But we're, we're, we're finishing this. So <laughs> then that ends my turn. The Muck Slinger who's next to me is going to inflict for four. I got two. Two shield come off. Okay. Then the, the, the Frox Bogmancer comes through. One, two in the room he's then going to in oh sorry he had water um engage each character engage and each character with a tar uh threat token suffers one damage um i'm gonna take it roll light okay then this person comes in to inflict on oh boy this is gonna be a hard hit roll one die I'm going to spend this to make one success to make it four. Two, four. I got to kill you. Okay. Oh, I forgot to draw a card. Um, okay. That'll be that. You go. You're dead. Um, the altar goes. Each hero suffers one damage um, to change one altar die. I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I'm going to inflict one damage to someone in the room. The Bogmancer has five health. This thing is already going, so let me see if I can get rid of you. Actually, I need to focus on the Bogmancer. I could, I could resist you. That thing is hard. Okay, so then fire is here. So each character discards an armor token. You don't, so you'll take a damage. I can discard one. I'm good. Um, then all this stuff doesn't happen. I'm not in control of the prisoner. And get all this stuff off. All right. Then flip these back over. Roll this fire. Water. Cool. First wind armor. 
water. Oh boy. Then um this nope, I don't have a focus. <laughs> I'll spend this to gain a focus and change one of these waters to a shadow. Then spend the shadow, gain an armor, fire. And then going to spend this to deal one damage. This guy, to get a fire. So he's got two health left. Um, I will spend this to spend this focus to make this an earth. I'll then spend this to tell you to come here. You're rolling earth. There's another earth, which is fine. I'll spend that to get another armor token. Light. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Got Furious Arc once again. So I'm going to Furious Arc it, and I've got Fire to deal some more damage. So to attack. Uh, exploding die. Exploding die. And I'll gain a little focus. So that's three damage. You're going to take all three because you have no shielding. One, two. Oops. Two and one more for three. Got two health left. You, it's three damage. You block one, but you take two, which kills you. That's all I needed to kill you. So you're dead. And I get a supply for killing you. And then not done with you yet, my friend. Um, I am going to burn fire to deal one more damage to you. So you have one health left. That and roll that, which is fire. I won. <laughs> I, I just won the game. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so then I'm going to draw a card. Um, actually, I'm going to focus. Gain a focus, switch this water to an earth. Actually, that was that attack. That was my action, and that was my third to do that. That was my third. I forgot to flip it. So that ends my turn. I'm going to draw a card. <laughs> All right. You get to attack me, so you get to do some nasty damage. Um, one of five, so four. One, two, three, four, all my shielding's gone. There's no water tokens. You're dead. The altar happens. Um, I could take one damage to flip something to what I want. Um, oh my gosh, I just saw what happened. I just saw what happened. Yes, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take one. I'm gonna take one damage to flip this fire. <laughs> no, no, you don't get to die like that. Um, to to change an ultra dice to what I want, you don't get out that easy. Shadow. So I'll take that one damage to to, to take shadow. Um, I can deal one damage to the guy. I'm not gonna do it. It's a may may deal. Nope. Fire's not there. Come through the cards, come to the altar card. If a hero controls a prisoner, each hero with no minion on their threat area draws a threat card. Not gonna deal with it, sorry. So then we will go to, back to my turn. And these up. Okay. All right, so I don't control I don't control the prisoner yet, so that actually wouldn't have mattered. 
if I thought about it. But that's okay. That's okay. I'm not going to deal one damage. So now it's my turn. Let's let's do yield roundup. Boom. Boom. The earth. Boom. Boom. Not an earth. <laughs> Um, boom, boom, do wind, boom, boom, wind into fire, boom, you're dead, and I get a supply from your dead carcass. Hey. Let me roll this. Water. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then um, we will now do the action to deal with this shackle. Test. If you pass the start of this card and gain control of the prisoner. Actually, this says if the hero controls the prisoner. This is a no win scenario. One. Because I rolled one on intellect. I have to test three. One. Doesn't work. Um, I could even end my turn. So this is a this is a win scenario only in a specific instance, and to not go through this nonsense, I'm going to rule it. Because this this activation says if a hero controls the prisoner, each hero with no minion card in their threat area draws one threat card. So I don't control the prisoner. There's no minions around to fight. And all this is going to be is me rolling this die to get an exploding die, an exploding die, and a success. So this video, oh no, video board's frozen. Okay, let me see. I don't know what happened there. Let me see if I can fix it. Uh, uh, properties. Yeah. How about that? Better? It should be coming back in in a second. There's a delay, so it should pop back in in one second. Okay. It should be coming back in soon, soon, soon. Maybe soon. I don't know. Come on. Come on back. Come on back. Update. <laughs> come on and update. Wow, that is a long wait on that. Um, are y'all seeing me okay now? Is it fixed or is it still frozen? See if it's fixed or if it's frozen. Can't tell. Fixed or frozen? Fixed. Okay, it looks. It should be fixed now. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay, good. All right. I've killed every minion. Every minion's dead. I don't summon the. the I, I hit a broken factor. No minions will summon. The Belch Lord's dead, I've defeated him. These don't summon anything. No minions pop into the board to assail me. All I'm stuck is rolling this to get control of him for intellect, and I'm looking for rolling exploding die, exploding die normal. But since um since I can't, since I I can only roll one die, I'm just going to rule this to say I won. So I won. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm, you're going to sit here seeing me do this. Uh, 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 uh. And nobody wants to see that. So we succeeded. We won. Okay, so let's go to our victory speech. We won. Because I'm not going to sit here and roll dice forever, especially as a bad dice roller. <laughs> we we will be here for the rest of the night, and I don't want that. Okay, so no minions left to defeat. We came out victorious. I got a ridiculous amount of stuff. So here we go. Each hero heals all their damage and discards all their focus. Cool. For every three supply the party has, they gain one random equipment card and add it to their journal. Okay, I get two random equipment. Sweet! 
So, because I've got six. Okay, so shuffle this up. The equipment cards, which you've only seen once since I've been playing. Right. Okay, so I get two there. It's back. Let's see what I get. I get a flail. So it's an equipment. So, ooh, yeah, I'm switching this out. <laughs> Deal one damage to each enemy within range. Yeah, so that's going to be my new weapon. And I get a crystal of rebirth. Choose a character within range to heal two damage. Exhausted, each character within range heals one damage. <laughs> I'm okay with that, Brian. I'm okay with that. So this becomes my new weapon. Her blade's gonna take a nap, and the flail will be my new weapon when that comes in. Okay, let's read what happens. So I got two new discard all this good stuff in the spread. Okay. If the heroes won the quest, the monster lair the monster's lair was a trial but you managed to make your way through all its twists and turns, following the old man's little cloth clues to where they are holding him. Fighting until the way was clear, when you and Huey are safe from the threats, it is just a short climb back out to the grass again. And each, each hero adds one random hero upgrade card belonging to the hero to our journal. I'm getting an upgrade. Um, so where are you, Mirian? There you are. So one random Marion upgrade card. Sure, sure. Here's her upgrade cards. Shuffle them up. Exploit surroundings. So this time I get a plus one, so I'm rolling four dice this time. Um, I gain two armor tokens, and I get two more armor tokens with, with her. So, upgrade card, going on the deck. Cool, 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 cool. If Vampiric Infection is in the journal and heroes and the heroes defeated by Nona Morn during campaign 4, 037. I didn't fight her in 4, so this is 4. Okay, so that doesn't happen. Add Huey to the journal, so Huey's back with me. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And that's the end of chapter four. So we've got two chapters left until we finish the game, but we are two for four. <laughs> so the next one, we see what's going on. Interesting. This ought to be interesting. So that is... Hey, we won! Hey! <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go back up and have a chat. All right, Huey is back in the journal. All right, Huey. I'm good with that type of life. All right, so we got Huey back. Um, we found the chamber. We did the rescue. We won. We fought. We won. Yes. <laughs> I got I got two two new equipment which makes me hit a little bit better. And I want to make the flail you actually yes, the flail uses the stat that I want most. So I'm going to be rolling four dice to attack when I attack with the flail. My hitting is getting better. Cool. I'm super excited. Um we lived, we got a bunch of stuff. So we, we got Huey with us. That'll be going in when we go into dungeons, so he'll help us uh, flip some altars where we need to. But, yeah, this has been awesome. I, this is why this is on my top ten. This game's just fun. I, I like it so much. I'm am, I want to keep going, but I can't. But this has been fun. So, cool. What's to come? Tonight, 9 o'clock, Kingdom Death Monster with Steven. Um, tomorrow, I'm checking on with Pac-Man to see if we're going to play Terraforming Mars. And then Sunday, we're going back into Ultra Quest uh, out of Luxon to do Chapter 5 with my new gear. My new gear. 
So, um, and then next week, I haven't scheduled any streams yet, but expect too many bones. Expect the final quest and the ultra quest. Expect ether fields. Expect infinity defiance to be talked about because that's coming in tomorrow. So it might be late next week, probably Sunday that I play that. But that's coming to the table. So and the unboxing for um, the un I'm going to do a live stream for the unboxing for infinity defiance when it comes in. I'm going to do that sometime after it comes in <laughs> i don't know when yet but uh it'll be before it gets to the table so it might be a monday um a monday unboxing to do or a sunday i don't know yet i'm still trying to figure it out <laughs> fine dewey and louie dewey dewey and louie um so that's the plan this ought to be really good um this was a good playthrough this was a real... I wish they would say, like, discard an enemy upgrade because, you know, you scared them and beat them down. Because you're the man. You're the man. Well, the woman. I'm playing Myrie. Um, But I got a hero upgrade. Things went pretty well. I got Huey out. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, that's... Yeah, that this flail is gonna be amazing! This flail! <laughs> I get to roll my I get to roll my my um my cons roll instead of rolling the weaker one which is strength and I get a plus one on top of it so I'm rolling four dice to attack and if there's wind up I deal an additional damage so all that extra wind I was getting get armor and get that sounds like a plan to me I'm about that life so I'm super excited for this um this was a good playthrough. It worked out the best way that it could, and I appreciate it. Okay, everybody. Thank you, Patreons. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. YouTube subscribers, thank you so much for getting me to 200. We're pushing for the next milestone of 300. And we're, I'm probably going to put in... I, I don't know. You need to let me know what you want to see me do. If I made any mistakes in this game, I tried to catch as much as I can. But if I made any mistakes, let me know in the comments. I will fix them as I go. Um, this game is so much fun. I didn't draw any lurkers, which makes me so happy. And I beat a big boss. I beat Bollocks the Belch Lord. I just beat on him until I won. He had 10 health. So 9 plus 1 for this, 10. He had an extra armor token, which he lost because of the altar. So then it came down to 2. And it went, it went pretty well. I survived. I did well. I'm just going to reach over here. Reach over here. Reach over. Do a tap. <laughs> Yeah, surrounded would be if if um you needed that flail the adventure before when you were surrounded. That's true. That's true. I did, but now I have it. And if I get surrounded again, I've got a card that lets me hit everybody with that, and that will be fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go take a break before getting ready for Kingdom Death in five hours. So, um, I'll let you guys have the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I will see you later tonight for some Kingdom Death. Insert comment here. See you guys later. Bye-bye.